It's Madden NFL 24, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New England Patriots and the New York Jets, and it's all up next. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Jets. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is gonna be an old fashioned, old school type of a game, physical, who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And this taken in at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Patriots. And that right there is how you silence the home crowd. All week long in preparation, visiting teams talk about it. Okay, we've got to start fast. We've got to take the crowd out of it, as you just talked about there. We've got to control the ball early. And in this case, forget fast start. This is a blazing start. What they've talked about all week is their offensive unit doing that. Not necessarily the guys returning the opening kickoff, but believe me, they'll take this. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And he gets it to make it 7 nothing Patriots. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff of the ball game, return for a touchdown. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Taken at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in-game mistakes, few and far between. First play and a first throw for Rodgers. This pass complete, he finds Jeremy Ruckert. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. On second down, it's Abana Kanda. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. On play action, Rodgers. He gets it underneath to Hall. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear. But they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So here are the Patriots now. An excellent field position to start things out. And they are let out there by their mobile quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Now back to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So 0 for 2 throwing the football and a very quick 3 and out to start the game. Look, stats are going to be decided as the game goes on, but bottom line is that's not the quick start that every team looks for when they begin a game. And this one is right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pickup there, 21 yards. 
You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. From the 43, here's second and nine. Now Rodgers. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Kyle Duggar. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. They need 18 yards here on third down. To throw is Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They're looking sharp, out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Back to throw. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. That one will set him back nearly ten yards here on first down of the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second and that long. And that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry. And it took what seemed like second and impossible now has him within throwing range of a first down. Out of the gun now on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense uh, probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, 
you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. He's got his target. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 33. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On play action, they'll throw. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson, a six-yard touchdown run. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. So an early advantage now and a good one. 17-0 our score as they kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Rodgers going to throw. His pass complete to Rucker. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Give him 30 yards there. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Here's Rodgers. He's got this to Williams complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 24 yards the game there, another first down as well. well. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. On play action, it's Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. 
and not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rodgers to throw once more. Oh, and the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. So Rodgers will depart, and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. New England trying to get a place on offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. And they'll come out with a three-tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It was Chuck Clark coming up to make the tackle. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They'll set up to throw. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Stevenson now on first and 10. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Back to throw now on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. Man, he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. 
Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snapped, and they're there and end up making the play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Juju Smith-Schuster, 47 yards. And the Patriots take a three-touchdown lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Ryland on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. That time, a six-play drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That is caught. It's Williams. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Rodgers now on first down. This pass out wide to Hall. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now it's Rodgers. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. 
Possession back to the Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson headed out with the offense. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. He'll look to throw. Got the connection here to Bourne. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. 49 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw here. Looking middle and it's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and ten. They're going to look to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And based on my math... They've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determine that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that if they have to punt the ball, they've done so with that first run. Second down and six now. To throw is Rodgers. Throwing quickly to Wilson. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. 
Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 36 yards on the play. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little, and oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Caught, it's Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A little one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Wilson's got it complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the great touchdown. Tyler Conklin, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Jets go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good. That'll make it a score now of 24 to 10. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this taken in at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. 
And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Zerline now for the PAT. He's got it, and it's 24-17. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And how about that for just running out the clock? Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They run once more with Stevenson. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Now second and nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting to gain. They'll throw now on the final play. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. Oh, and that is incomplete. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime report. We saw a solid first half from the Oklahoma man, Ramondre Stevenson. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Second half starts with a run by Hall. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now Rodgers, a throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. He finds Wilson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Straight ahead is Hall. Shifts by at the 15. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and six. Rodgers now to throw. Touchdown, Jets! Randall Cobb from six yards away. And the Jets are an extra point away from drawing level. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there, 
tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Zerline good with a PAT, and that will tie us at 24. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. From the 24 now, here's a second and eight. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Short pass caught by Henry, and he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there, and if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first and 10, it's Gibson. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Here now, second and four. Once more, Gibson. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. From just shy of midfield, here's a second down and nine. They'll look to throw here. And that one almost intercepted. But it's incomplete. He had space in front of him if he had held on. But instead, it's third down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. The third down throw incomplete as well. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. 
The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job. And Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. He couldn't get the edge there. It wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally because sometimes the defensive guys, they win the edge battle. And when they do that, there's no place for the running back to go. It's there he goes, left side. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. He got 29 yards that time. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hall on a give up the middle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space. In and these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Back to the ground with Hall. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Rodgers going to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 28. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300. That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated 
itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here's a second and eight. Now Rodgers. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now it's third and three. Throwing is Rodgers. This pass out wide to Hall. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Abana Kanda is in. Touchdown, Jets. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The offense on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and ten. They're going to look to throw. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get them the completion. 
The Patriots send out their punter, standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over. The Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Second and ten. Now it's Rodgers. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with Hall. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. On first down, right back to Hall. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and nine. On second down, a run with Hall. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Brees Hall, 45 yards. And the Jets have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. New England's offense set to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Here's second and ten. They'll set up to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. That's sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. 
Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And the Jets, D, they call on a couple extra defensive backs on third. They'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. They'll go. It's Gibson. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Now Ryland for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Open man here is Conklin. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. 
is something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Here's Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. New England on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and five. Now Rodgers. That is caught. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Rodgers now on first down. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. That's caught left side. Ruckert with it. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Rodgers to throw once more. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 28. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Here's a second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And a short gain here down to the 22. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now Rodgers. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So the Patriots now down by two touchdowns. A minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got Henry. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A two timeout still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, they've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. Ball resting on the 20. This is second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's caught. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Ryland on for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. So a little under 50 seconds to go. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. And now the Jets are going to get this one, and that might be all she wrote. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll give to Hall. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, it would likely put an end to this thing. They'll go again with Hall. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game.
Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the J-E-T-S as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.